Good morning and welcome to Service FM Stadium for this Thursday morning for the 2022 Intercol First 11 soccer match between Blackfriars and CBC College. We're only moments away here from kickoff in this big game between two big colleges in South Australia with football academies that have great philosophies. And we're going to get through all this action here today. And they're both headed by really good football icons in South Australia with Marcello Karuska, former A-League player and LA United player who is coaching the CBC Christian Brothers College who are in their all-purple strip here today. And Simon Catanzaro, a former top-tier player in South Australia in the NPL in his playing days and now a treble winning coach in the WNPL, the Women's National Premier League here in South Australia with Salisbury Inter and some very good up and coming players in both teams here today as we got to see all this action with a huge set of fans here from both sides split between the purple and the black on the sidelines and if the second 11 game Prior to this one, is anything to go by? There's going to be a lot of goals with a 12 goal thrashing from CBC over Blackfriars just moments ago. And we're only moments away here with Brian Habonimana kicking it all off for Blackfriars, kicking to the left of your screen. And Angus, the official here today, is about to get us underway as he just gets the match ball. Only the best here for this Intercult 2020 match. 2022 match. We're only moments away on this wet Thursday morning in Jeps Cross. And things get underway here. Blackfriars kick it to the left of your screen. Go straight forward. Panagopoulos, now Blackfriars playing it back through Alexander Zuna. And Blackfriars now on the attack. Great opportunity from Owen. And it goes out for a throw in. It's going to be end to end stuff here this morning. Expected to be entertaining from both coaches. The style of football. Both coaches. Here we go. Good opportunity now for Black Fries in the opening minute. And it just goes out wide, and it's going to be a goal kick. And that was Alexander Battistella with the shot there to just sent it out wide. And the coach, Simon Catanzaro, first year coaching. Black Fries taking over Joe Mullen. It's Arias Pio on the ball now, plays it back, finds Alex Centafanti, his club teammate at Metro Stars. Both playing finals football. Matias Aloisi sends it along. It's inside the box now and it's going to be punched out and, and sends it out wide again. It's going to be a goal kick once again. And what a first two minutes we've seen here at Service FM Stadium. And some interesting names playing in today's game. Matias Aloisi, the son of Ross Aloisi, former LA United player. Promising young talent. Very strong on the ball, one to look out for in today's game. And as you can hear the cries from the away support, very loud and vocal here today. They're in numbers, the CBC students. And rightly so, they're getting behind their team who have 
just come off a grand final loss against Ross Trevor last week on penalties after a 2-0 scoreline after extra time. And it's Brian Habonamana. Couldn't keep it in. It goes out for a throw in. Does win the throw for Blackfriars. Now Peel. TBC halfway line now. And it's going down the right wing. It's Franco Caruso. The right back and it goes out. Couldn't keep it in, unfortunately. But this is the stuff we're going to expect from this game today. Some end-to-end -end stuff. And some entertainment as well. In the opening five minutes here. No goals as yet, but both teams are starting to have a few good opportunities. It's going to be sent out, but still alive though for CBC. On his left, and he kicks it straight into the hands of Matthew Vanderweld. Nathan Owen did well to try and keep the ball, but it gets sent to Across now, CBC on the attack through Skimitsi. Throw in is one for Blackfriars, who lost 5 1 in this fixture last year in this intercol for 2021 under Joe Mullen. New coach, new style of play this year for 2022 under Simon Catanzaro. And will it deliver? It's been pretty good for the young side in this first few moments. Arath Piolt. Now it's Nathan Owen. Owen. Finds Habonamana. And Garefa. And again, eventually goes out for a throw in, which will be taken by Alex Centafanti. And you can see he's standing up on his bench there, Simon Catanzaro, being vocal. He's a very good coach in the WNPL. Experienced. Coached some big players for Australia and also a Chilean in Maria Jose Rojas, who's played in the Copa America most recently. Hopefully there'll be some future international players in this blue and black today as we see it whipped into the box now. Battistella, and then it's still alive though. Quickly turned over though. Now CBC on the attack, going on the counter. Into Skimitsi, goes for the shot and what a good save from Alexander. Vanderwald did very well there. And it's a very good shot from Francesco Scamitti. Scored two goals in 17 games for the NPL team in Metro Stars. And six and 11 appearances for the reserves as well in 2022. So no, not afraid of scoring goals in, in any fixture. And now it's Christian Brothers College again. On the attack, forces the goalkeeper to come out and... And as you can hear, probably in the background, there's a lot of uh, vocal fans for both teams. College football. It's one they're going to take lightly here in South Australia. The history between these two schools goes back a very, very long time. 16 years of this annual intercollegiate co-curricular carnival between Blackfriars Priory School and the Christian Brothers College. Not just soccer they play in this uh, matchup. There's also football, table tennis, and some other ones like chess and debating. It's heaps of entertainment. You can all stream live as well. 
for this matchup here today is going to be proving to be a good one. We've seen a few good opportunities from either side. Neither side really sitting down in this fixture just yet. <laughs> and just the uh, the vocal, the loud loudness from both teams, supporters is incredible for this fixture. Here at Service FM Stadium, brand new stadium in South Australia. It's really proving what it can do for local football for all levels. It's P.O. trying to get it back for CBC. That final touch there. Couldn't find the Brian Abonamana for Black Fries. Now it's Harvey still. Plays it back to Moilinga. And that's going to be an thrown in again for Marcello Karuska's side his first year coaching senior coach uh, first team coaching after being at CVC for three years the decision goes against the Blackfriars which was against the uh, not happy with the, the reaction there from the uh, Black Fry supporters. Clearance from Panagopoulos wasn't enough to keep get out of any danger for Black Fries. Eventually doesn't does well to retrieve the ball again for Black Fries again. Working hard. Just can't seem to keep possession of this ball. It's going to be a fiery fixture if anything is to go by in this first opening 10 minutes here at Service FM Stadium. Sure to be a fiery match as well. Even though it's just a friendly fixture on the pitch, it's nothing but friendly. It's Ariath Piol now. Does well to get around Kayata and it goes out for a corner kick, the first corner of this game. And the cheers are like they just won a penalty from the CBC fans. And it's right in front of him. The sea of purple. Arias Piol causing a bit of havoc inside the box. No, danger, no stranger to scoring goals. It's gone out now for a throw-in. In his year 12, Ariath Piel. Been playing in the setup, in this first team setup since year 9. CBC pressing higher now. Harvey still plays it out to Centrofante. Francesco Scamizzi, another Metro Stars player. Whips it across the face now. It's still live for CBC inside the box. That's Petro Panagopoulos. And what a good save again. Winning the goal kick. Corner kick. Referee changed his mind after chatting to the linesman. Another good opportunity again for the boys in purple. Couldn't get a good finish on that. Good touch from CBC. Samuel O'Brien doesn't play for a club in... South Australia. As we see, another opportunity now. Francesco Scamizzi. It's inside the box. A bit too wide, though. Has to play it out. Just getting caught in bad positioning from CBC as we see another shot. Hit out for a goal kick. 
Marcello Carrusco might not be happy with some of these finishes here from his team. But the build-up play has been very well, well done from this team who come off a grand final loss last week to Ross Trevor in the SAAS the SAS grand final against Ross Trevor. Big game. Fiery fixture between these two teams here at Service FM last week. Couldn't decide a win after 90 minutes with one all the scoreline. And then still after extra time, finishes 2-0. And penalties went the way of Ross Trevor. I was seeing now Blackfriars on the, op on the attack again. Just can't get break through that defence from the CBC. It's Gamitsi. Couldn't get the length on that shot as he was hoping from the cross. Moilinga. Now it's Caruso. Franco Caruso plays for the under 18s for Olympic. Who have just played, knocked out in the final series against Metro Stars. So no, no strangers to some of these opposition wearing purple here today. Wearing blue. Having played alongside and against most of these players. Sent over the box again now. It's going to be a goal kick once again. Marcello side. Not great in that final third in these opening 15 minutes. Something Marcello Kodoska may not be happy with. We see him just watching. Patiently analysing his team. Been the technical director of CBC for the last three years, as we can see with the style of play that they've uh, been enforcing. First time ever coaching a first team. Now CBC again, good opportunity, one touch there, just didn't get the final the accu accuracy on that one. Something they've been doing a lot of. Aloisi. Panacopoulos. Just once again, turning the ball over very quickly again. Black Fries. They're holding that ball very well. CBC, and just in that final third once again.
Keep going. Very loud again, Christian Brothers College supporters. I've come in in bus loads today. They finding hard to string a few passes together in the final third. Defensively, Blackfriars looks very strong in the back third. Their, their defensive half. As you can hear, they're getting louder and louder as the game goes on here in Service FM Stadium. It's what you love to see, the support from both colleges getting behind their team. Another opportunity now. Watowski. The Campbelltown Reserves play up. And the chanting starting to begin 25 minutes into this fixture, which ended in a 3 0 scoreline at half time last year in the 2021 Intercult. Yet to break deadlock here in this game. Both teams. Nathan Owen now on the attack for Blackfriars. Great defending though from Ajo Moilinga. Did well there. Blackfriars have been very threatening in that final third when they've been managed to, to get the ball forward. Despite having most of the possession in CBC their final touches have not been the best and couldn't capitalise on a lot of the opportunities created and something Marcello Karuska may not be happy with and be trying to fix a half time Scamitti Battistella And it's a good opportunity again now for Blackfriars. And free kick one. Petro Panagopoulos. Right in front of his uh, home supporters. Who's starting to chant now. <laughs> it's what you love to see for college football. The support has been unreal in this fixture. Nathan Owen whoops inside the box just could not get a good touch on it it goes out to Samuel O'Brien the unorthodox keeper good reflexes and great shot stopping abilities he's described by his team manager as inspirational in the semi-final fixture against St. Ignatius and was really good and instrumental in saving those one-on-one -on -one plays as well against uh, St. Ignatius in that semi-final win. Still half an hour into this, no one yet to break the deadlock. Simon Catanzaro in his first intercult. Great little pass there, straight into the hands of Samuel O'Brien. Not a pass, but could be in a shot. From behind. Now it's Petro Panagopoulos inside the box again now. Good opportunity, Nathan Owen. And sends it, hits the, the crossbar. And looks like it just came off the line. And what a great opportunity for Blackfriars. We're disappointed that didn't go in. It is still alive though for Blackfriars. They're scrambling to get it out, CBC. Still haven't done so. It's Alexander Battistella. And they win the throw in. 
the lucky VAR isn't involved in this game because that could have easily been awarded a goal. We could have a replay of that because it did look like it did come off the uh, line. May have gone just over, but we'll never know if the whole of the ball went over the line. And that's the stuff that Simon Catanzaro will want his team to be doing and capitalise on. His first intercol with Blackfriars against CBC. And he's proceeding a very uh, successful coach in South Australia with Joe Mullen heading Blackfriars the last couple of years. Nathan Owen inside the box again. Sent over. That was probably one of the best looking corner kicks we've seen so far in this matchup. The score line stays as is. It's going to be an entertaining second half of football here at Service FM Stadium. Now another opportunity again. Batowski inside the box again now. Good opportunity once again. It's forced out for a corner kick. Now we're starting to see some action on either end. And the goal is nearing. Santana Batowski, the winger. For CBC, plays reserves for Campbelltown. Campbelltown City produced some great goal for, uh, players in this time. Sent to the near post. It's going to be a goal kick now for the Blackfriars. The rain is coming, pelting down in the first game here this morning. It's just held off a little bit in this first half. Clouds are appearing over Service FM Stadium. So we may see some rain in the second half, which I'm sure will help the pitch, the artificial turf here on pitch one. It's produced some good football this year in 2022 in its short time here in South Australia, opening up in July, the home of football South Australia. A little bit of a dangerous ball there from CBC. Now it's P.O. Doing well to remain in possession. And it's played out to Caruso. The right back is pushing forward. Pushing high up. And it's a the foul one on Santana Batowski. Now Christian Brothers College are pushing very high up in this one. And it will be Mason Ayubi. Familiar name in NPL football fo fans. Inside the box, a good opportunity again, once again for CBC. They cross into the box on target. Probably one of the best we've seen so far from Christian Brothers College. And Ayubi plays at West Times Bacala. I mean Ayubi, also the, uh, the president for Bacala, who have just been relegated to the State League 1 for 2021, 2023. And we're only moments away, minutes away from half time. Neither team yet to set, to break the deadlock. And it is Gr Grant Habonamana that win wins the, the free kick. K 
Hayata. Now it's CBC again. Through Yubi. It's got numbers forward. And it's now cleared out again for Black Friars, but still in possession though for CBC. It's Caruso. They're playing a little bit different now after making those substitutions, bringing on a Yubi. Their final third's looking a lot stronger now. It's Ariath Piol on the ball. Gets it on his on his right. Tries to get around Petro Panagopoulos. Does well though. Still maintain possession. Sayubi. It's Kamitsi. Now it's Ariath Piol. Great positioning from Piol. Skimitsi once again inside the box for CBC. Can they get something out of this one? It is Daniel Cavuto who whips it inside the box now. And it's gone out wide. It's going to be a goal kick. And this last 10 minutes for Christian Brothers College has been promising. Chilakoroska has made a few changes that have uh, only been positive for the team. Produce some great attacking moments. And we'll be happy with his final chances they've uh, haven't been able to take capitalize on. It's Batowski. Arath Pio does well inside the box now. Tries to cross it into the box. Still alive. Now it's Ariath. Good touch from Ariath. And just that final touch from Francesco Scamizzi, which wasn't heavy enough for Matthew Van der Wild to get his hands on. Something I need to work on, CBC. That final. Those final touches. Now it's Black Fries. After last year's fixture, we'll be happy with this scoreline going into the halfway mark. At New Wall. Molinga. Couldn't clear that. It's Alexander Battistella now. Tries to get something out of this one. And the clearance there from... CBC still sees it. Garefa, great boxing. Nathan Owen now inside and sends it in, and it's a goal. Nathan Owen breaks the deadlock here, and Blackfriars are absolutely celebrating this one. What a great goal there! And as you can see, the crowd are going absolutely mental. It's what you love to see. Simon Catanzaro's team have broken the deadlock. And it is 1 0 between Blackfriars and Christian Brothers College. And you can hear the chants right now from the Blackfriars supporters. And the confidence levels now is all they need. It's Alexander Ballastella. Now Yubi. They could have been two up, two new up in this stage. If that ball went over the line, just hit the crossbar and bounced right on the line for see for Black Fries. And the final touches and finishing from Marcello's side. Has hurt him. Otherwise, it could have been a different scoreline if they could finish off their their hard work. As we see another shot, and it goes just out wide for Christian Brothers College. And the second half, 
going to be entertaining. As has his last five minutes. And the support from both teams. You can hear it now in the background. The uh, Blackfriars supporters were a little bit quiet earlier on, being outnumbered by the CBC faithful. Now it's Nathan Owen. Now pushing it forward. CBC. Throwing again on the 40 minute mark here. A service FM Stadium. Blackfriars has managed to get the first goal in this game. A little bit different storyline from last year. Having been 3 0 down at half time. Can they get another one to double their lead? Going to, into the halftime break. Let's go ref up. And there we have it. It is halftime here at Service FM Stadium. Simon Catanzaro's Blackfriars team go into the halftime break. 1 0. Up over CBC, Christian Brothers College. And you can hear the Black Friars supporters, the fellow students getting behind them, teammates, their schoolmates. It is fantastic to hear. And this is what we love about college football. <laughs> and the players are absolutely soaking it in as they make their way into the change rooms. Simon Kamanzaro would be happy with his team. However, there was a lot more chances they could have uh, buried into the back of the net. On the other hand, Marcello Karuska sure won't be happy with uh, his team's final touches. Find their way into good positions, but just couldn't find that final touch to send it into the back of the net. It's something he may need to improve on in this second half of football here at Service FM Stadium. It's proven to be an entertaining first half of football. 40 minutes of play. Another 40 minutes to come in the second half here at Service FM Stadium for this 2022 <laughs> intercult. You can probably hear that in the background. As the players make their way to the change rooms, the Blackfriars have followed them and given a lot of support. And we'll be back with all the action right here at Service FM Stadium for another second half of football. Don't go anywhere. The Intercult 2022 First Eleven soccer match between Christian Brothers College and Blackfriars. The score is 1-0. Blackfriars up through Nathan Owen. I know. That'd be good. Is that right?
Welcome back to Service FM Stadium for this second half football here for the Intercol 2022 between Blackfriars and Christian Brothers College in what's expected to be an entertaining second half of football here between these two sides. Blackfriars broken the deadlock with only moments to go in that first half from a great goal from Nathan Owen. which now promises to be entertaining football ahead of us. Can Marcello Karuska's side get back in this? The former A-League champion, coaching his first time ever for a first team. And it gets underway now. Blackfriars shooting to the right of your screen in their blue and black strip. And the halfway line, it's Grant Abonamana. Does well and wins the free kick on the, the halfway mark. Sent long. Now on the ball for CBC, Franco Caruso. Just stumbles on the ball there. Santana Batowski, the Campbelltown reserve player. Panagopoulos trying to string a pass together now for Blackfriars. <clears throat> Joseph Gareffa. Now it's Michael Cicado. Another Blue Eagles under 18s player. Very strong. Had a very strong game in the SAS final. Against Ross Trevor. <clears throat> Very big knock there for Alexander Battistella. It's all right, though. He gets back up. Wins a free kick. And this is going to be very heated in this second half football. Here at Service FM Stadium, the rain has held off. There is a black crowd directly over now at Service FM Stadium. Now we see... CBC moving forward. It's Daniel Cavuto. Finds our SPO. Now Jake Rawson. Jack Rawson. Now Nathan Owen, the goal scorer for Blackfriars. Spotted Brian Habonamana. Who's got managed to get on the ball now. He's trying to get it to his right. And then he just... Forces the pass out. It's going to be a goal, corner kick. <laughs> Four black fries. The set pieces have been good in the first half. And can they open the second half with another goal to double their lead? The goal scorer now, Nathan Owen. Whips it in near post and just gets sent over. And it's cleared out by CBC now, who are on the attack. But then it's Ariath P.O. Daniel Cavuto does well. He gets around Habonamana. Now it's Francesco Scamizzi. And he's caught offside. Another good opportunity for CBC, but unfortunately, 
Skimitsi, his positioning caught him off. And that could have been a great one for Christian Brothers College to get back in this. The captain for Blackfriars, Donato Kayatza. Finds Brian Habonimana. Now, Ariath Pio. Nice touch there from Pio. Finds Cicado. Now, wasn't much on that. It's easy for Matthew Vanderwoud to retrieve the ball. You see the actions from Simon Catanzaro, the coach for Blackfriars, even though his team is in front. He's very vocal and animated on the sideline. Throwing will be taken by Petro Panagopoulos. Black fries. Who, who, who wouldn't want to repeat it last year? 5 1 scoreline against this same outfit in Christian Brothers College. If today's anything to go by so far, it's a promising future for this very young squad in Blackfriars. Only have five year 12 student, students in the, in the squad. It's only five senior players. And the rest have all been blooded through with the youngsters in year 9, 10 and 11. It's a bright future for this squad. Now, not a great pass now. It is Grant Habonamana. Just couldn't get a good, a good space on that one. Now, CBC on the attack again through Daniel Cavuto. On the left, he's got opportun options in the middle. He go chooses Arias Pio, plays it back to Cavuto. And sends it high over the crossbar. And what a way to finish that from Cavuto. Accuracy wasn't there. As we're in the first eight minutes of this second half here at Service FM Stadium. It's Michael Cicado. Plays it back to Samuel and his O'Brien. P.O. plays it off. Back to P.O. Cavuto. Say Ubi. Back to Cavuto now. Great pass back to a Ubi. Back to Cavuto. A P.O. finds Cavuto on the left. Now Ubi. Passes back and forth. Been great on the left there for CBC. Now it's Caruso. It's going to be retrieved now by Harvey Still. CBC seem to ex be exploiting that left-hand side a lot against Blackfriars. It's Francesco Scamitti. P.O. back to Scamitti. Plays it out once again. It is Michael Sicardo on the ball. Now Scamitti again. Jake, Jack Rawson. Now Nathan Owen tries to get the ball nicely. He does so. It's up on a minor. Back to Nathan Owen. Tries to double the lead. And what a good save there. Comes off the leg of Samuel O'Brien. The unorthodox goalkeeper did well. Habone Mana sends it out for a corner kick. As it did come up a deflected off a CBC defender. Despite not playing for a club. Samuel O'Brien should look for one. He is a great goalkeeper. 
and obviously not playing for one is why he's a bit unorthodox as a goalkeeper but pulls off some really good one-on-one -on -one saves as he did in the semi-final and it's whipped back into the box again this time far post and now CBC look to exploit that left hand side which they do Arias Piol he's got one-on-one -on -one. it does well to get around Panagopoulos and it is a free kick is one for Arias Piol just outside the box and it will be a red straight red for for Isaac Matakoulos Not happy with that outcome there. Straight red card. It's not what you want from this team. Simon Catanzaro would not be happy with that. As you saw, he put his leg out in front of Arias P.O. And it wasn't ideal. He's still arguing with Angus. He's a very uh, patient referee. So in the 50th minute, tables have turned. And it is a red card. Committee and good save there from Alexander. Did well. Save that set piece and what a good shot that was as well. And you can hear the cries from the, the shouts from the CBC supporters. Singing Sha Na Na goodbye to the number seven, Isaac Matakoulas. He got red card in that 50th minute. Tackle. Now Simon Catanzaro's team had the lead and now a one short in men in numbers but could that lead have helped him now because they have the lead now they've got to try and not concede now in this game still 30 minutes of play to go in this matchup and if it wasn't enough entertainment previously this red card has just added a bit of firepower to this game, which has already had a lot of it between these two supporters' bases. And it's just given something extra for the CBC faithful to celebrate. Being one man up. Skimitsi. Was trying to find Santana Batowski. Now Simon Catanzaro on the sideline getting very vocal to his players. Yelling directions. Nathan Owen is getting Nathan Owen to move forward push up push back push deep now good opportunity now Arias Pio sends it in and it is the equaliser from the Metro Stars senior player Arias Pio gets the goal in the 53rd minute to bring CBC back into this game And this game is at everything. And we see another yellow card handed out to Petro Panagopoulos. My goodness, what do we have again? We have a game on our hands here now.
between these two sides. And what an absolute crack of a header from Arias Pio. The experienced senior player at Metro Stars. It's just added that extra firepower into this CBC team. And Marcello Karuska will be happy with that one. It's something they weren't too clinical on in that first half. Those final touches, they managed to get the ball into the box. But it could be another one here for him with Francesco Scamizzi inside the box. Gets on his right, trying to get a good space on it. He managed to get it back again. And will be CBC still with possession. So you beat Sicardo. Now it's going to be hard now for Simon Catanzaro's team to get back in this Ariath Piolt. Still got 25 minutes of play left in here. Now great opportunity again. Once again, it's Scamizzi. Gives CBC the lead. And what an absolute cracker. From Scamizzi. And as you can see, he somehow got himself a mask with something on his face. I don't know what he's got, but what a celebration from the CBC. This game as quickly turns in favour of Christian Brothers College. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Well, we have a massive game on our hands now and this scoreline could be back to what it was in this fixture last year in Intercol 2021. And for that celebration, I believe he has received a yellow card from Angus. And I don't think he cares. This is how much college football means for these students to score in front of their mates. It's bragging rights against their opposition. Nathan Owen, Habonimana, made it very difficult for themselves now. With Isaac Matakulas getting that red card, has quickly turned the tables. Can we see a third now? Skimitsi finds Ariath Pio inside the box again. Good save there, but it's still alive. Cavuto gets it on his right. And another good save again. This game has had it all. And back in to level peggings once again. Great strike from Nathan Owen. And it's level once again, 2 all between Blackfriars and CBC. We didn't expect this, did we? For Simon Catanzaro's 10 men to get back into this game. With an absolute cracker of a goal, 57 minutes in, these last three minutes have been nothing short of entertaining. Whipped it in on his right. And you can hear the Blackfriars have come back and very vocal once again. It's just showing Simon Calanzaro's team are resilient. And that's Ariath Pio on his right, sends it out wide for a goal kick. 57 minutes into this game, We've seen four goals, a red card, two yellows, and a celebration from Scamizzi that gave him the second yellow in this game. And But it was very worth it in the replays. I'm sure that will be shared around in the school days. Maybe tomorrow will be shared around. 
love to get some background on that uh, celebration from him. And we thought it was all over. Habonimana now chips it over the goalkeeper and goes over the crossbar. And that was another good opportunity for Simon Calazaro's Blackfriars. They haven't given up. Even after going down to 10 men with a 1 0 lead, Simon Calazaro's team have managed to come back in to keep the game alive. It's Jack Rawson. Arias Pio back to Jack. He's on his right, plays it out. It's inside the box and it's a good opportunity across the face of goal. It's Daniel Cavuto. Couldn't get on the end of it. And it will be a goal kick. For Christian for the uh, Black Friars. Sixty minutes into this game. Twenty minutes of play. These last 20 minutes have been entertaining football here in this first half, second half. And I thought I did hear some jazz music in the background. And I was correct. There is a saxophone in the crowd from the Black Fries supporter base. You see everything in these uh, college football games. It's an Arias Piolt. Scott Cavuto chooses him to go. He's out wide. Gets it on his right. Shoots. The flex off. Donato Kayata. But it wasn't enough to put off the goalkeeper. Matthew Van der Vout. Wild. Ayubi. Now Arias Pio. Passed out to Skimitsi. Great shot from Skimitsi. And it's Cavuto with the follow up. And Mason Ayubi was there for that to, to retrieve it once it came off. Uh, Matthew Vandervoud but couldn't get on the end of it, unfortunately. His positioning got the better of him. It's gone out now for a throw in. It's going to be a tense last 19 minutes in this matchup between these two teams. The crowd's getting very vocal. Will we see a winner? So be careful there. Brian Abonaman up, yelling at the linesman. Mason UB now it's Ariath Pio to Cavuto. Finds Jack Rawson, who fires forward. It's a UB. And not enough power on that to cause any danger for Black Fries. Now CBC have turned it over. It's Abonamana firing forward. It's been a very big threat for CBC. It's two being collected in this one. It's another yellow card going to be dished out for that challenge. It's Mason Ayubi on the end of that yellow. I think Angus is going to be working hard in this final 15 minutes to settle both teams down. Maybe a friendly, but it's serious between these two teams. And the ultimate glory 
and gratification of bragging rights on offer here today. Has a good cross into the box there. Just couldn't get on the end of a teammate from Nathan Owen. The goal scorers for both goals at Blackfriars. And this capped crowd here today usually brings thousands. Supporters over six days of entertainment across different events. There will be football later today between these two sides around midday. And then also we see chess debating, table tennis and basketball. All part of the events taking place between these two sides to decide which school is the overall Intercol 2022 winner. And if it is drawn, it will remain with last year's who was Christian Brothers College. It's played back. Now CBC through Santana Batowski. It's gone out for a throw in. It is a draw at the moment, two apiece for both teams. But the way things are going, there will be a winner. You can just feel there will be many goals still to come in this fixture. That we knew was going to be full of fire. And it hasn't disappointed. It's inside the box. Cavuto gets a touch to it. Just can't quite place himself in the right positioning. It's gone out for a throw in. CBC want to take advantage of this. Yeah. Now Cavuto still keeps it in. Gets it back. It's inside the box. Kabitzi now goes to the shot on his right. And it does go out for deflection from Alexander Zauner. And it will be taken on his left by Mason Ayubi. Whips it in, goes near post. Now Black Fries on the attack. It's Nathan A Owen. Nathan Owen. Heavy touch there. Forces a clear out by Franco Caruso, who just laughed at the uh, the chance coming from the opposition, the Blackfriars supporters on the sidelines, who he uh, whipped the ball over. And here's Sebastian De Santos with the ball to take the throw in. Marcello Caruso's team. Just making a double substitution. To Santos. Now it's CBC on the attack. Francesco Scaminzi. Doing some little tricky footwork. Try and trick, put off the defenders. Does well. He's inside the box. Does take down Donato Kiazza with him. Free kick awarded. Mother Nature has put on a beautiful morning for us here for Service FM Stadium football. And the rain has held off. Although it was pouring in the first fixture, the second 11 game between these two sides saw a 12 0 defeat from, Black, from CBC over the Blackfriars. We're 
As we make our way into the final 10 minutes at Service FM Stadium in this Intercult 2022 game for the soccer first 11 match between Blackfriars and Christian Brothers College. It's 2 all. Blackfriars are a man down after a red card incident and you wouldn't know it with this scoreline and the way they've been playing. And still managing to to get back in this with a, a goal to level things out. Now it's CBC. It's commits. He's inside the box there. It's forced out for a, goal, a corner kick. Now whipped inside the box again. Goes near post. It's cleared out. By her Bonamana. <coughs> Little bit of hesitation there from CBC. And it's going to be a substitution for Black Fries. <laughs> Coming off is Anthony Triani. He's replaced by Grant Habonimana. I think. That's all right. The numbers have changed in this Black Fries. Sharing their shirts around by the looks of it. So apologies for any mix up of names. That's what you love to see in college football. It's whipped inside the box again. Good opportunity once again. It's caught offside. Only eight minutes remaining in this fixture. Could we see either team take the win or will we end it up in, in a draw? So only eight minutes to answer that question. And will it be Simon Catanzaro, the experienced first team football coach, winning the treble in the WNPL last shit season with Salisbury Inter? In his first year here, co coaching Blackfriars, taking over from Joe Mullen? Or will it be Marcella Karuska, three years at the club as a football director, but first ever? First team football coach experience. So the inexperienced coach in Michele Karuska versus the experienced first time college football coach in Simon Catanzaro. Whose team has a very promising future ahead of him, full of youngsters. Angus, just going to have a chat to his assistant referee. Nope, he's actually going to talk to the crowd. He's just asked for the Black Friars bench just to come over with him. He's going to he sent someone away. It might be a friendly, but to some, they take it very seriously and it's not what you love to see in this game. It does happen, unfortunately. But Angus has handled it well and has sent the spectator away. And I think uh, these final five minutes are going to be very fiery between these two sides. Can I have the team score? We don't know. It's going to be a tough one to decide. Ten men, Black Fries, have held up well against a CBC side who's on the attack now. It's Ayubi. He send, sends it in. Jack Rawson scores. 
What could be the winner for CBC? He's taking his shirt off in a celebration, and which could give him the yellow card, but he does not care because he sent CBC in front in the 74th minute. Jack Rawson scores the goal, and what a crack it was. The Blue Eagle under 18 player is a workhorse and it's described as he would run all day by his coaches. And what an absolute cracker of a goal. Ball fell to him and gets it on his right and just whips it into that bottom left hand corner. And this game could be over for Simon Calanzaro's Blackfriars. But he would not be disappointed with the effort put in by his team. Very young squad. Habonimana. This couldn't be kept in. It's Mason Ayubi. Just getting a bit of flack there from the opposition support base right in front of him. Just encouraging him with a bit of a, a clap, condescending clap. <laughs> it's what you love. Now, CBC, and it's a pass straight to the hands of the goalkeeper for Black Fries. Wasn't much in that one. And the roar on full time is going to be Phenomenal from the CBC faithful if it does remain a 3 2. Ariath Peel, can he produce something beautiful in this final four minutes? There's a saxophone playing in the background as Franco Caruso is inside the box now, and the corner kick is won. For Christian Brothers College. Yeah. Marcello Karuska is moving his players around a bit on the pitch. Keeping a few players back. Three at the back. And it will be Mason Ayubi taking the corner kick once again. Whips it in. His left plays it out to Franco Caruso. And it's Jack Rawson. Not the touch he wanted. Now Yubi finds himself in possession of the ball once again. We've seen on his left looking for Arias P.O. But it's eventually cleared out. And will be a corner kick once again. And only two minutes left in this fixture. And could we see any more goals between these two sides? It is a lot better performance from the Blackfriars outfit compared to last year's 5-1 disappointment. Simon Catanzaro has done well on, with this relatively young squad. It's whipped in near post. It's cleared out by Colt. Colin James. It's called for a fresh bolt from Angus, the referee. Who's had to put up with a lot in this fixture this morning. Fiery incidents. Celebrations from both teams. Some questionable ones from CBC. And now it's one of those with the uh, questionable celebrations committee. He gets on his right and sends it out wide again to the car park. And 
the bragging rights for this game. As it stands, it remains for, once again, Christian Brothers College, who are bracing themselves for the win. Can they get one more? They could. It's a Yubi. He's inside the box. Gets in his left. Inside. And it's forced out for a throw in. Actually, it will be a corner kick to be taken by Ariath Piot. It is a short pass they've gone for. Trying to ride out time. As we make our way into the 80th minute in this match now, only additional time left in this matchup. Christian Brothers College once again will be crowned winners in this soccer first 11 matchup for this Intercol 2022. Unless Nathan Owen could get in on here for Blackfriars, scrambling to try and get the ball. And wins the free kick. Just outside the box, Nathan Owen could turn the tables here and get a last-minute equaliser. And the Blackfriars supporters are instantly getting behind this. He scored the first two. He's on a hat-trick. Can he score his hat-trick to get his team the equaliser with one man short after that red card from Isaac Matakoulis? He's uh, talking to his teammates. Will he take it? I think he's looking at his his gaffer. He's looking at his coach, Simon Cadenzaro, just to see if there's anything there. Simon's remaining very quiet. Yep. This could be a good opportunity now. Great opportunity for Blackfriars. Potentially the last. Bonimana shapes up and sends it over the crossbar and wastes what could have been a great opportunity for Blackfriars to end this game in a draw. And you can see Nathan Owen after that free kick was not impressed. With the result from his teammate. Probably only have one more minute left in this game. <laughs> and there will be another card dished out once again. This game has got it all. For the neutral, it's something very entertaining. Not much longer left in this game to get back in this for Blackfriars. It's Ariath P.O. Goalkeeper's off his line. He's on one-on-one -on -one now. Shoots it into the bottom right-hand corner and gets the winner. And that is it. Done and dusted. Ariath P.O. seals the win for his team, Christian Brothers College. And oh my goodness, these celebrations are going unreal with the Christian Brothers College faithful. And deservedly so, Ariath P.O. scores his second, scored the, open, scored the first one for CBC to give him the equaliser, now scores the final one to put the nail in the coffin. And Blackfriars are going home, unfortunately, losers after being in front, going into the halfway mark. And that red card was the turning point in the 50th minute. And could we see another one from either side now to end this off? This great, fiery matchup. It's not a good look here. Physio will be called on. 
Could be time wasting, I don't know. But I don't think so. From Jack Rawson, his team is in front. We'll be taken off to have a look at. And the only moments left in this matchup. Christian Brothers College. And Blackfriars sends it over the crossbar. And it's full time here at Service FM Stadium. Christian Brothers College get the win 4 2 <laughs> over Blackfriars. And the celebrations are going unreal. A swarm of purple to celebrate the win. After a 5-1 win last year in Intercol, a disappointing loss last week in the SAS final against Ross Trevor on penalties. But today, it's all turned around and Simon Calanzaro's team couldn't get the job done and have gone down 4-2 over Marcello Karuska's Christian Brothers College. And what a great performance here for the Intercol 2022 between Christian Brothers College and Blackfriars. We're going to wrap it all up. Thank you for joining us here for this game. Marcello Karuska's team get the job done after a 1-0 lead going into the halfway mark from Simon Cadenzaro's young team. And unfortunately, the scoreline ends. Christian Brothers College 4, Blackfriars 2. I'm your match day commentator, Johnny Kecko. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the rest of the action live online for all the Intercol 2022 games coming around to you. And that is all from Service FM Stadium, Christian Brothers College. Get the job done.